Yeah, so I am quickly going to try and see if I can spin up a view project over here. Let's see how that goes. I'm going to ask for example project. It's an example of view, dash view, view uh, TypeScript. This is just using V to scaffold the project. Um, let's see. So I'm going to go and navigate in there. I'm going to go PNP install just to get dependencies going. And as soon as that's done, I'm just going to open that folder. And that's going to be under Christian code. Okay. Cool. Now I've got the project that I've spun up or scaffolded here. And now we can see if we can get it running. So I'll go PM, PM, dev. It's going to run the project. And if I click on this link, it's open here. Um, right. So here's the, the root of the project. And this directory is like public and source. Source has something called, like it has view components, things called like view components, uh, TypeScript files. These are things distinguished with stuff like uh, .view and .ts as extensions. I just need to remember to have the Volar extension installed, which will allow me to use, or really like to have IntelliSense, basically. Let's say view. There we go, let's enable the official view three language server. Julio, that's gonna run. Maybe this is going to stop complaining. There we go. Cool. So what's nice is this thing has uh, HMR or hot module reloading activated. So this is so view components are broken up into three sections: the HTML, the JavaScript, the TypeScript, and then the styling. Uh, you'll see that the TypeScript section is here, uh, denoted with an annotated with the script section. Um, there's something called setup, which is an attribute, which is like a view shorthand that allows us to get some nice um, error or compile and error or type checking stuff going. And then we set the lang to TS so that we specifically tell the view compiler that this is a TypeScript view component, not just a plain JavaScript one. Um, then we have the template, which is the, that's how we describe the HTML component of, of, of the component or the, the HTML component of the component or section of the component. And then we have the style, which is the CSS, which tells us how to how to present the HTML elements. So just, just to recap, we have a, a functional or TypeScript section, which defines the functionality of the component. Then we have the HTML template section, which is the defines like the structure of the component. And then we have this, and then we have the style, which is like the representation. Or how, how the structured um, thing should look. So that's like the color or the font, etc. So if I clear this, it's going to complain or it's just going to do nothing. I can put anything in here. So let's say div, hello, and when I save it, it's going to present hello there. So that's quite nice. That's just like the core thing for that. And then we have TypeScript, which is the TypeScript or the main, the main TypeScript file is literally just like doing basic setup. It's calling create app, which ensures that um, if we, put, we, we basically need to point it to, to something that will like tell view like this and in somewhere in this public HTML file, like root HTML file that, you, that we have, there's going to be a, a ID with app, and I want you to mount a view instance onto it. And that will be in the index of HTML page, which is just like minor setup. And this just defines basic stuff like what the viewport is, so how big do we expect the container for the HTML to be? So normally you set it up with something basic so that it, it scales well for like mobile and for desktop. In in general, like this default will get you quite far. And then we have the title. The title is a piece that we put up here. So I could change that to something like Christian's, Christian's view app. And if I refresh it here, it'll update there. Cool. And this is the app part that's, that it's binding to. So if we say create app, app which is just like this, the root view component, we're telling it to mount the root view component onto an HTML element that has an ID for it called app and IDs are denoted with or prepended with a hashtag. And that ends up here. Cool. That was the first snippet. I'll explain the rest in the next video.